Okay, this is me with Wobbly Camera Phone attempting to explain how I add those extra sounds to uh, gigs in Second Life as Dandy Piano Man. Right, this is the Loop Station by Boss, the RC500. And there's three buttons at the front. Uh, the one on the left, I don't use it to record and play with. As it says, I actually use it to click on to change the tempo. So I can go faster or slower with it. The one in the middle does what it says on the Tim. I stop the track I'm playing. The one on the right does also what it says on the Tim, which is to change the track. So if I press it once, it'll go to track two. If I press it again, it'll go to track one. And here's track one and track two with sliders up and down. Now this pedal is actually underneath the piano. And in order to start the track, I press pedal A. Something you may recognise that as being the patch which uh, I wrote for Dragonfly. Now, if I want to record something on top of that, like a bass line, I'll press it again and it'll record it. And if I want to record some vocals on top of that again, I'll press it again and it'll record on top and on top as many times as I want it to go. Now, drums. They're back here on the looper pedal. Now, at this point, I have to climb down from my seat so that I can operate this with my finger and not my feet. Okay. How about if I come back here, I can change the style of the drum beat using pedal B. Like so. So that's a brief explanation of five of the nine pedals that I use for Second Life. Hope that was illuminating. And coming back here, we turn it off. Thank you very much for watching.